And now James Leha, for whom Jesse incidentally is not officially part of his name. It was his father's given name and simply has become attached to his name as part of his boxing identity. Prepares right. to go into the ring for the third time against Azuma Nelson. Harold. Stunning fifth round KO over Gabrielis and Roelis's first appearance after his unfortunate experience with Jimmy Garcia. Roelis, of course, the winner in the fight, as the result of which Garcia eventually died. Uh, let's get ready to rumble! Introducing first. Fighting out of the red corner, wearing black trimmed with silver and weighing in at 130 pounds. His professional record is 30 victories with two defeats and two draws. He has scored 14 knockouts. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the pride of San Antonio, Texas, the challenger, former super featherweight champion of the world, Jesse James. From Ghana, Africa, presenting the WBC Super Featherweight Champion of the World, the Professor Azuma Nelson. Tim Witherspoon was fighting Sam Scaff for the right to move to a title bout with Tony Tubbs. It's been that long for the Professor. And he stayed just as strong and just as smart and has nowhere hardly. And he goes to the body with the left and over the top of the right. And true to his word, Azuma Nelson is going to try to take James Leha out early. Too easily. I just hope that Steele will give me a chance to stay in there if it happens. And there he got hit with a double left hook right on the cut at the beginning of the round. Azuma Nelson, the old professor, taking James Leha to school now as round six begins. There was also two great body shots by the veteran. The old professor thinks he has lifetime tenure. <laughs> the one thing he has to be, oh, good hook. By, oh, there he is, he's out. Leha is hurt badly. Leha not holding on. Electing to punch back instead. Good body shot by the professor. These body shots are really taking a toll on Leha. Steele pulls him apart. He wants to stop the fight because he knows Leha is beginning to show wear and tear. He better punch back or, or Steele will stop this fight. The body shots have weakened Leha so much that his punches don't have the same power on him. But he's still got the guts to throw as blood envelops his right eye. He has the heart of a champion. There's a great body shot there. But I just don't know if he can come back from this. Azuma slowing down for the moment. After having thoroughly dominated the first 60 seconds of this round, he came out of his corner and threw those two left hooks in a hurry to reopen the cut over Leha's eye. And since then, he's been landing more or less at will. Jim, I must say that I think the two losses are the main factor here. Because Leha just doesn't have the same confidence that he had before. Yeah, but I also have oh. to give Nelson credit. Yes. Richard Steele seen enough. And Azuma Nelson has the technical knockout victory he so badly wanted in his revenge bout against James Leha. The diamond keeps sparkling. He is an amazing character, Azuma Nelson. I don't recall a top fighter in the lower weight divisions sustaining this kind of quality these many years. Ever. Ever. And Richard Steele's been ripped in the past for what people thought were quick stoppages, but I'm not sure you can criticize this one, Roy. No, I think this was excellent because the guy was showing wear and tear. Azuma 
clearly wore this guy down with body punches. He made Leha punch, he made Leha punch, he took all of it, he blocked it, and then he wore Leha's body down. And in this last round, prior to the stoppage, Leha simply not ready or willing to fight back enough to prevent Richard Steele from calling a halt. And we'll take another look at the sequence prior to the stoppage. Azuma landing lefts and rights, and then setting up the target and coming in with a combination, and Richard Steele says enough. The fans definitely and obviously want to see death, but it's not going to happen here. Richard Steele because of a very, very severe laceration to the right eye of Jesse James Leha had to call a halt to the bout. We'll have the official time for you in just a moment. This great warrior has just been worn down by a true old veteran. No complaint from Leha when the fight was stopped. You heard the crowd booing, but Jesse James himself walked to his corner and accepted Steele's stoppage with total equanimity. You can see that Nelson landed almost exactly twice as many punches as Leia in the bout, was landing at a 51% connect percentage, and this is thorough dominance on Azuma Nelson's part, incidentally. The three judges had it scored 48, 46, 48, 46, 49, 46, all in favor of Azuma Nelson. So the old professor was headed toward a possible decision victory if he wasn't able to get the stoppage, and he did. And now Michael Buffer with more of the particulars. Once again, the bout was called a halt to because of a very severe laceration suffered to the right eye of Jesse James Leha. He was unable to continue. Referee stops the bout at 158, 158 of round number six. The winner and still WBC Super Featherweight Champion of the World, the Professor Azuma Nelson. And a final look at the scene in the ring. Azuma Nelson at age 37, after 17 years as a professional fighter, has the 39th victory of his illustrious career, and Larry Merchant is with him. Azuma, Azuma, congratulations to you. You did what you said you would do. Did you think, having watched Leha lose to De La Hoya and to Ruelas, that you could overpower him? No, uh, first of all, I'd like to thank my God for making this possible. My God, let me know that, uh, I mean, with him all things are possible. I mean, uh, I love my God and my God is able. I'd like to thank my, all my church members, ARS members, I say, I love, I love you. Uh, I, I love uh, Mr. Saki, my friend, my friends. Hey, Babu, wherever you are, come home. I love you, I miss you, baby. Right. Barbara, I'd like to give thanks to Barbara for giving me this opportunity to prove myself once again. And then, I mean, now I'm ready. Okay, now let me repeat the question. Did you think having watched Leha get overpowered by Ruelas and by De La Hoya, that that was how you had to fight him? No, 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 not that. You know, I told you before the fight that, I mean, nobody can beat me twice. You know, this is the history that I'm, I'm making. And nobody can beat me twice. But no. you were more aggressive than we have seen you earlier in a fight. Why was that? I mean, that's what I told you. I can, look, I wanted to uh, take him out in the first round, you see, but I decided not to take him out in the first round. You understand? So uh, I wanted to punish him for a while. And prove people. People think I'm old, and I can't go more. I can't go the distance, you know. And I want to. And I, I decided. I changed my mind that I wanted to knock him out in the 11th round or 12th round, so that people will know that the stamina that I have is unquestionable. Well, let's take a look at the first round knockdown. If we can get it up here on the monitor, and you tell us what you saw in the first round. Look at this right here. And look at this round. Nobody can take it like that. But you know. 
He's a very strong guy. Uh, uh, I, I, I said before that if, if, it, if it go two rounds, he will go to coma. 